Mark with Think Insurance, and today we're going to talk about the five. I got my lottery ticket here. I got, I, the economy's down, so I got to win some money. <laughs> not not smart advice, by the way. <laughs> we're going to talk about the five smart home devices that could save you up to twenty percent on your home insurance. Now, the article I actually read was from Columbus Dispatch, and they even said in there that you can save up to fifty percent. But I don't believe that. If you know anyone or have heard of that, you can let me know in the comments below. I'm saying about 20%, and in most cases, some of these aren't even 5%. So let's dive in and talk about these five devices that could save you on your home insurance. So if you wanna follow along, I've already scratched off D, H, and G, and it looks like I've got just the word, the E missing for edge. I'll keep you updated. The obvious one we're just gonna cover first is a home security system. There are multiple versions of a home security system. So you've got your standard alarm, which is what most insurance agents will just default to. We assume that you have locks and that you have some sort of an alarm system. If you don't, that's fine. You just don't get the extra discount. So the common one is called a direct security system. That's an alarm system. If somebody broke in your door, alarm's gonna siren, something's gonna go off and alert the neighborhood. There's also the central alarm system, which is the police connection. So it's like an ADT system where you have somebody monitoring that and it notifies somebody in the police department. The other semi sub model, which is the most common is to have what's called a ring doorbell. We'll dive into that here in just a minute, but that technically counts as a standard type of security because somebody gets notified. Now, the discount that you're gonna see on this is probably the larger of the group to where you're going to get a pretty decent discount, anywhere from five to 10% if you're gonna have some type of a security system in your home. Protecting your home makes a huge difference to insurance, so if someone's gonna have a theft, it's less likely gonna be someone that has one of those devices. I got X, R, and L, so I'm actually pretty close to winning already with many letters to go. But let's dive into the second device. And this is the one we referenced just a second ago. It's the Ring Doorbell. Those Ring Doorbells, or the camera version doorbells, that's all I've known to call them as Ring Doorbells, and obviously that's the brand. But there's different versions. There's the Alexa ones and all of the other ones. Those are really helpful because they become the most common. If your phone can get notified when somebody approaches your door, when a package is left, when something's happening, that's gonna prevent also theft that falls in a similar category. And most of the time, it's not a direct security system. It's not also a central security system. So there's kind of a hybrid. Most insurances, I'll just tell you the secret, is they're going to pick the direct model. There's not really a way to prove because the central system, you usually have to show a bill. You have to show a paid service of something. And I suppose you could fight that if you pay a service fee for a doorbell, but in most cases, it's gonna be more of that direct model. Typically, anyone that has the doorbell system is gonna have cameras around the house and a surveillance system. Same scenario is it doesn't matter how many cameras, if you have some in the back, if you have every door covered, if you have them on the windows, whatever the case is, you're really only gonna pick central or direct. So if it goes off, somebody breaks that security and it goes into an alarm or it notifies the police. So if it doesn't notify the police, you've got the direct model. At this point, I really want this letter, this word here, Kaliva, because then I get $100. I am shooting for that. I'm already, pretty much spilling a word, I just need an A, and I still have the whole second row to do. Wish me luck. The third device is gonna be a smart thermostat, and to be honest with you, I had to look this one up. I was like, what the heck is a smart thermostat gonna do for your home system? I'm not gonna lie, I haven't seen a company that even offers that I've looked at different quotes, but I don't know where that falls in the category. I get the safety part of it, and I was kind of curious, why would a smart thermostat do anything? I have one, and I'm kind of lost at that spot. Well, what it does is the smart thermostat is more for if you have pets, if you're away, or for pipes when it gets cold out. Your smart thermostat is gonna know when to turn the temperature up and down automatically. Now granted, a standard thermostat does determine the temperature and go up and down, but when you're away from the house, it's going to have an away feature. And there's a lot of different features that that smart thermostat is gonna offer. The only thing is in this article, I don't understand why it's an option because I don't know any companies that do a smart thermostat discount. And just like any lottery ticket, you get W, Z, and J, which is completely ridiculous. 
who's going to have a word with W, Z, or even J in it? I got one scratch off. Oh, man. I've got almost halfway done, so we'll see how this turns out. Ah, the fourth piece is the alert system for doors and windows, or anything that pretty much opens in your house. Those technically, once again, still fall under that direct model, where there's a security siren that goes off. If you have one and you have an ADT system, same thing. It's a central system that all notifies a brain that notifies a department that may call the police or call you or figure out what's going on first. So these are detecting if somebody opens your window. Same scenario as the first one, but in these articles, every article you're going to read is going to try to break these up into different pieces. They really just don't understand that when you tell somebody you have this, it's a good thing to have. This is something you can apply for and use, but that problem is it's still gonna fall under that direct security system. But Mark, what if it notifies my phone? Yes, if it notifies your phone, that's great, but it's also not reporting to the police. It's not a central system. Unfortunately, home insurance, they just don't recognize that as a centralized security system. Okay, I am getting extremely close. So the letters I got was N, M, and A, and I clearly wiped off a ton of these. What I think is next is the secret letter that I'm missing is the T and the E. If I can get a T and an E, I can complete almost all of these. If I just get a C, I will also be happy because then I get $60 back. I'm going for this. This is this is going to buy my next security system. <laughs> the fifth and final piece before I reveal whether I won this ticket or not is going to be the water leak detection. There's two ways that this works and there's two pieces to this. This is a huge piece because what happens with home systems and one of the largest claims that companies have is water leaks. There's a couple versions of water leaks. So you have to know first, how does your insurance determine what is what? And what I mean by that is there's two coverages on your policy. So your home insurance is gonna have dwelling A, coverage A, and that's the dwelling. That's anything, the house in general. In addition to is water backup. And there's actually a sub one to that, which is called water backup and sump pump overflow. And there's even a different version of that, which is called including mold or including contents. So you have to look and talk to the company that you're with because not all companies count contents as a water claim. How do you know whether A is gonna cover it or whether the sump pump or the water claim coverage is gonna cover that, the water backup? The coverage A is your typical instance. If anything sudden and incidental, that means that a pipe burst or something happened, a hole got punched in the roof by a tree that fell on it, or something happened suddenly and incidental and water came in because of that. That's gonna be your coverage A, that's in general the house. That's usually not always the cause. Your backup and water flow is just what it sounds like, backup. If the sink clogs and overflows, if the toilet bubbles and overflows. An easy way to tell if you have a water leak is if when you're running the sink, it sputters, or if you flush the toilet, it bubbles. It doesn't mean that you're gonna necessarily have a huge water claim, but it tells you that you're losing pressure in the pipes that are all connected. These devices, what they do is they measure that pressure, that line pressure inside of your home. Now, when it determines or it finds that there's a leak in pressure or a loss or there's air bubbles that are coming through, it can notify you instantly. It can be right on your phone and tell you, hey, there's a water leak somewhere. There's two versions of this. There's the basic one where you connect it just to the end of a faucet or you connect it to just kind of a standard connection piece. And that still kind of works. It's not a bad system and there's a discount for that but it's not as good as the centralized one. And what that is, is it's a little bit more expensive to purchase. Usually you're gonna spend a hundred to a couple hundred dollars to have the device purchased and installed. This is gonna be installed directly onto that shutoff valve or that right on that main water line that you have where it measures all of the pressure coming in and going out. Right on that main line is where all the water starts. So it can tell exactly how much pressure is there. And the second that the water pressure goes off, now you know. If you just connected it to the hose over here or the sink over here or the toilet over here, you're only checking that line that goes into the main line. 
can the detection come from the toilet from the sink if you had the device on the sink but the toilet fed back sure the bubble or the leak could lower the pressure over here but it's more likely to be detected right from that main source all right i got y p and u this time and i actually knocked off a few more i've got a couple words spelled out but really i'm shooting for either a b to spell album and i'll get 75 dollars, or c to get cars and i'll get 60. I could get an E and a T and it's over. I'm done. There's no, I'm, I'm there. <laughs> so, all right, let's go. Now, the thing I wanted you to know is that when you're installing these devices, don't just go buy them. If you're going to purchase the water system, call your insurance company because Nationwide and I believe Safeco or Liberty Mutual and a whole bunch of these other companies offer discounts. They want you to have this device because it stops claims. It saves them hundreds of thousands of dollars per year. So if you have that device that can save them that money, they're gonna contract with different companies that can get you those savings. I don't know of any insurance companies that necessarily have them on the ring doorbells or the security systems because that's just an additional feature. It's not as big of a claim. Water damage is a large system. And if that happens and a pipe bursts or the pressure loses, they want you to know that so that you can shut it off and prevent the problem. In those cases, I would recommend if you're gonna go with the larger version that goes on the system, it can be a normally a $400 cost. It can be cut in half if you go through your insurance company. Also, the discount on the water system, the main one is really the only one that they mainly care about, but that main line one, if you're going to go that route, is going to get you a pretty significant discount on your home policy. Those are the five main ways, but if you guys wanna see the end of this, I'm gonna scratch this off now and let you know if I won or not. We really just need to have the B, the C, the E, and the T. Let's go. I got an O, a V, and a Q. <laughs> I literally could have spelled almost every single word on this card if I would've had a B, an E, a T, or an I. There's an F also, and that was it. I don't know how they get you with this. That's crazy. I just wanted the K or the E, and I would have gotten the 100, whatever. Okay. You can save more than what I just lost on that ticket or would have won if you have the right discount on your home insurance. Hopefully this is helpful. If you guys want to learn more about the home insurance coverages, I do have a home insurance 101 that seems to have a lot of traction. People seem to like that the most. It's very in depth on exactly what is coverage A, B, C, D, and all of that. So if you wanna learn that, go ahead and check that out. Otherwise, I'm Mark with Think Insurance. I'll see you in the next one.